welcome back to new exercise in solidworks here we will create a simple pipe and we will do the simple steady water flow through a pipe and we will see different types of chart and we will find out the pressure or some like a temperature velocity everything we can find out with the help of this chart let's do a simple water flow simulation study in solidworks we will pass through a simple water through a pipe and let's see what will be the pressure and everything so let's create a pipe right plane a sketch activate line tool here okay let's define the dimensions 200 150 and let's 250 and make sketch fillet 30 let me select these end points say okay now simply exit and go to boss base and here i am going to choose circular profile make diameter 30 you will see here activate thin feature now make thickness 3 millimeter and okay let's make thickness outside say okay that's fine now let me save this one save this one pipe okay let's right click let me hide this activate flow simulation now if you don't have just go to add-ins and here from here choose activate flow simulation if you check this both it will automatically comes here you don't need to go tab okay first let's start new this is new project so let's give pipe flow rate we are going to find the flow rates now template keep internal water say okay now do you want to reset yes again here do you want to reset mesh setting say yes and do you want to open the create lid tool yes because both the ends are open we have to close it so say yes now let's select the outer face now you see there is a go going to create a lid to close this environment even though you can define thickness here but i am going to keep as it is yes say yes now all the dimensions everything change that's why i say yes now right click on computational domain and hide it okay now let's go to wizard and we will define some new or small things let's say pipe flow rate and uh, okay let's next unit si temperature i am going to keep in kelvin Oh, sorry celsius pressure let's say bar whatever uh, you need that's it next now here i am going to choose see analysis type you must choose internal otherwise it will show you outer gravity activate it and let's check this is flowing inside make water gravity downward side so make z axis 0 and y axis minus 9.81 see the gravity goes downward next now here what type of fluid you want to flow so activate liquid and come bottom and there is water double click and see selected here default fluid water liquid next default next now here see this is the temperature and pressure you can change it according to your need we will go as a normal finish now again i am going to hide this uh, domain now there is one display option transparency okay no again i need to make little darker no okay let's do it first we have to set boundary condition for inlet and exit okay so define right click insert boundary 
now here this is the inlet so right click on this choose other and select the internal face of lid okay so i am going to select this one now the water going to flow this is flow opening inlet mass flow how much let's define let's say 10 kg per second okay again right click insert boundary let's define for exit at environment so right click on lid select other and select the internal face of lid okay we selected here now here i am going to choose type pressure opening environment pressure now this is the ideal temperature and bar let's keep as it is okay <coughs> now let's define our goals insert global goals first let's you will see mass flow rates this is what i want to evaluate okay again next goal insert surface goal now right click on this lid select other and select the internal face of lid because this is the opening for this okay CAD area the area of this okay now I want to make equation right click insert equation goal see here now click here now first goal is mass flow rate divided by CAD area the diameter here say yes so that we will get the mass flow at throughout body okay we did this okay let's run this study new calculation solve run okay you can see the progress see this is going to progress or even though you can setting okay pressure okay this is still going to create still the drawing is not created let's wait and watch this is the how your system you can check how slow your system if your system or pc is faster it will take less time less calculation okay we done Okay, let's in take inside. Okay, drop down result. Now first I want to find out cut plot. Okay, let's insert trajectory first. Now here you have to place the plane face opening. So right click on the lid, select other and select the internal face of lid. Now this is the number of points 20 you can increase oh, let's say 25 <coughs> appearance let's say pipe and this is going to be let's say 3 and let's I want to find out pressure okay let's go as it is say okay look now right click play now look how the pipe water is flow from one end to another end and this chart bar you will observe. Now from here you can stop. Now look the pressure at the start is higher but at uh, exit is lower means uh, lower than the inlet even though you can change pressure from here to temperature say okay okay now again play see temperature at green zone at start and let's see at end what will happen now you can stop from here temperature let's say velocity okay and play velocity. <laughs> C 
Sí. You can stop from here. Okay, let me hide this float trajectories and I want to make cut plot. Right click. Okay, let's make insert plot. Now clear this and here choose all surface contour. Let's say find velocity. See, okay. Look, the velocity is same. Change it from here. Temperature fluid. Look. This is the temperature of fluid. Similarly, you can change it pressure. Pressure is almost the same. Hide. Now, if you want to see cut plot, so right click on cut plot, insert. Now here you have to choose a plane which is going to cut this model. So front plane is not suitable for this. Right plane. See here, contour, pressure you want. Okay. Now you will see this is the pressure now temperature okay temperature is remain same in every bo whole body only temperature going to increase at a turning point and this point similarly you can absorb velocity velocity also same throughout the body only at the turning point the velocity goes higher see and these blue area seems lower okay now let's go to find a report go to tool result now insert report now here from template flow simulation report open Now see this is the complete detailed report SOLIDOX flow simulation project report all the see mass setting everything material everything is mentioned here you will just drop down and see all the things even you will see at bottom some chart these are the some global or some analysis chart conclusion look database liquid now let's add some at bottom there is no chart so just keep this one as it is and go to picture and chart current opening end of documents you want to add this picture at end of document so select add to report this done now let me hide this cut plot and show uh, what we called uh, surface plot let's take little something like this okay this is also end to report now come here show a hide cut plot okay let me first uh, define this one something like this end to report now let's make one symmetric okay let's change this one velocity to pressure and to report okay now close now open your file now this is going to refresh and let's come down see the chart is going to edit this is velocity chart cut plot this is a surface plot and come down this is the flow trajectory see and simply cancel and save this so this is how you can create uh, or study a flow simulation in solidworks i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching